find a balance between um, Caitlyn and, and uh, Frost last season where they sort of coexist uh, pretty, pretty easily. Um, is that going to continue or might there be some uh, like she come out more and that Norms that might reappear? I was really glad we finally sort of explored and told that story last year of like how Killer Frost and Caitlyn feel about each other and you know the ways they want to protect each other so I was really grateful for that storyline and then I think this year is going to be a little bit more about Killer Frost. She's going to get to be in charge a bit more um, and you know we're going to get to see her develop relationships with the various uh, members of Team Flash, and I think they'll be pretty different than Caitlin's relationships. Um, congratulations on directing. Thank you very much. That, I, I thought that episode was great. Did you, you. How did how did you feel about doing it? Would you do it again? Um, I was super grateful. It was a great script, um, and I had a lot of fun with the episode. I'm directing again this season, six, which I'm very excited about. Just kind of coming up with it. Um, but uh, I had a fantastic time. I learned a lot, and I'm excited to do it again. How excited were you to see the new costume? So, I love that costume. We've actually been working on it for a year. We started working on that costume for season five, and then every time I thought they were going to write it into an episode, they never did. Uh, which, you know, I yelled at them a lot about. <laughs> With love, of course. Uh, so, I was excited to finally wear it this year. I really pushed, they wanted to reveal the suit on a mannequin at the end of season five, and I was like, guys, that's not fair. You have to wear it on Killer Frost. Not, not as much fun on a mannequin. What's the, um, it's been a while since, since she's had like a proper costume. Or even like a December, I mean, was, yeah. it only, was it only year two? Uh, she had a suit in season three when she was like full villain. Um, and I think when she sort of shed her villain persona uh, and kind of started to play with Team Flash in season four, I gave her a different suit, but it was not my favorite. Yeah. So then, what's the what's the story reason for this? Because this is really like this is a full blown costume. I think Cisco, you know, with his incredible sewing machine, did Caitlyn to Killer Frost a solid and build her a suit that she could go out and fight bad guys. Um, I thought one of the best things about this season, in addition to all the Killer Frost and Caitlyn stuff, was Caitlyn and Cisco got so many great things yeah, together. Really um, I felt a lot of people were really separated this season. Do you think we might see a little more, like, or Team Flash, like, doing stuff together as opposed to off on their own? I just miss them. I know. <laughs> Team Flash is pretty great. And you're right. Everybody did. I, however, I think I'm, I, I like that everybody has their own storylines. I think six seasons in, you know who these characters are, and you know, you know, it's time to deepen their relationships and get to see more one-on-one -on -one stuff, uh, which I really enjoy. You will still see T Flash have fun, don't worry. It's a really cute movie at the end of the episode for me, but I'm excited. Is there anyone particularly you'd like to work with in this year's crossover? I feel like Killer Frost is a different kind of type of vibe than most of the other superheroes. Like, I feel like having her with Heat Waves is funny because they're both pretty irreverent. Um, and, you know, I feel like that dynamic with someone is perhaps as earnest as Supergirl would be really fun. I actually think Killer Frost and Queen Arrow would be pretty hilarious together. There's a lot of potential. <laughs> How does uh, Nora's death affect? Does it affect Caitlin Frost differently? I think it affects Barry and Iris most of all, and obviously, you know, the rest of Team Flash, they're families, so they want to support Barry and Iris as they sort of free the loss of their daughter, even though they know they will see her again at some point, but it won't be time. So much of last season was driven by uh, Caitlin and Father. Right. So, so what? What now? I mean, where does this what, what's the primary driver? But again, I think we're going to get to see a little bit more development of Killer Frost's character. And, you know, she's a little childlike in a lot of senses because, you know, she only pops out when it's time to fight and then she sort of gets put back away. And hopefully we're going to see that change. You know, it's Caitlyn that we see in Star Labs. And what's it like when Killer Frost is in Star Labs? Like, does she know? Uh, she's doctor as Caitlin is, and she is willing to be a caretaker as Caitlin. 